Today we are making orecchiette alla cima di rapa which is a fantastic recipe from the region of Puglia, which is the heel of Italy. The original ingredient is using turnip tips, which is the cima di rapa, which is not always easy to find outside of Italy. So today we're gonna to be using this, which are a little kind of broccolini style. And anything from the broccoli family is a good alternative to the cima di rapa. So simple ingredients, we got these guys. Garlic, chili, anchovies. Don't run away, the are gonna taste amazing. We're gonna use some breadcrumbs, olive oil, and then we're gonna make homemade orecchiette, which uses similar flour and water. So let's start off with making orecchiette, which takes a little bit of time. The ratio is two to one. So 100 grams of similar flour and 50 grams of water. So we make a little well, we pour the water and we mix it up. Start off with the fork so you don't get yourself too dirty and then we'll finish off by hand. At the beginning it may seem like you need more water, but resist the urge. Once you have your little bowl, you put in cling film. You wrap it real tight. And this in the fridge for 30 minutes. If we had the cime di rapa, the only thing we would be doing is taking the leaves and taking the tip. But today we got this purple broccoli and the stem is actually quite tender. So we're going to be using it. So let's take some of the leaves off. And the bottom thing comes off, that's a little bit hard. But the top bit, that's soft. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna chop it up. Like this, just roughly. Because then as they cook, they'll disintegrate. And we do the same with all of them. So leaves comes off, we're gonna use them. Bottom bit, throw away. And the rest, we make it into little circles. And once cut, we're left over with little pieces like this. And the leaves. Once our dough has been rested, and just stick it out, cover the one we're not using. So what we're going for here is a long little tube, about this size, close like this, and then you use the back of the spoon to roll it, and come out of it. So you see you get all this texture here. And if you go to Puglia, you see these old ladies that with one swift movement, they, they can make them. So cut, roll and put out. Make sure you got some semola so it doesn't stick to the board. And by the way, this is a fun type of pasta to also do with your kids because the orecchiette, they don't really need to be any particular shape. So they can be kind of ugly and it still tastes great. The important thing is trying to make them more or less the same size so they cook evenly. And this is all our orecchiette done. And by the way, you know, orecchiette means little ears. I don't quite know why these are called little ears, they don't look like it. But anyway, and these are gonna be great because see this texture is a great way of absorbing all the sauce we're gonna make. So there are two prominent techniques about making rochetta la cime di rapa. And I'm gonna do the one which I think yields the best flavor. We're gonna use two cloves of garlic because I like to taste a little bit of garlic in this recipe. And as usual, you cut in half, you gotta remove this central bit because this is harder to digest. So out it goes. Especially when you use quite a bit of garlic in your recipe, it just makes sense that you remove this. Once it's chopped, it goes inside. Now we're gonna add two anchovies. And I know some of you may think, oh, anchovies, just trust me. They're gonna melt with the heat and they're gonna give them amazing flavor to the sauce. In they go. Some nice lecino extra virgin olive oil. And we're gonna warm it up. Now in this other pan, again, a little bit of olive oil. And we're gonna get the olive oil to infuse with the garlic. And the same thing here. The anchovies are starting to melt and we put in the chili. The reason why we put the chili later is because it burns quicker. So if you put it at the same time, you're gonna have a burnt chili and the rest is not gonna be done yet. Now with the water boiling, we salt them. And here, we're gonna put half of them to cook here. And we're gonna cook it together with our orecchiette. And the other half, here. We salt this straight away. That's gonna help release some of the liquids. We can add the orecchiette. We take a little of water from here. In the garlic infused oil, we're gonna add the breadcrumbs and we're gonna give it a quick toast. And this will be used in equivalence to the parmigiano at the end. It's kind of like poor man's parmigiano. Orecchiette don't take a long time to cook at all. So we drain it. We finish cooking here. 
We can add some cooking water. That's gonna help make a little bit of creaminess. And we'll keep a high heat now. Can you see these are so soft, they're breaking up, they're breaking up. See, this is completely cooked. Very soft, ah, kind of hot. And we're done. So now we gotta plate it. Of course, if you want it more creamy, you gotta put more pasta water. And on the top, you can add some of this. Swirl of extra virgin olive oil. And we have our orecchiette alla cima di rapa.